All right. What's going on, everybody? My name is Najir Chambers of Big Belt Media. How's it going? What's, What's good, up, dog? We got a brother to build tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we brother. had a soundboard. What's going on, my hey, guy? What you got going on? You got the Avengers. You be gaming? That's a gamer's chair. I do a little something, you know. Yeah, I that's just, that you know, I, I, <laughs> I just try to nice, have a little dude. fun. Appreciate you all. Hey, so listen, I checked out the entire series. Definitely got a lot of questions, but a little time. I want to start off first by actually pointing outwards to some of your other cast members. I would love to know from the three of you all, how was it working alongside of Martha and Kate? They're iconic actors and just their presence on this show is like instantly felt and just the meshing and the scenes that you all have with them are all magical, but I would love to know how was the experience for you all? We got to do a couple of scenes with Martha, but it was so much fun like I just love the clash and mesh between our two characters and she's such a powerhouse and just amazing and yeah it was just great but um Kate unfortunately I didn't get to work with I wanted to meet her shoulder um because I love her and that's my piece yeah yeah I think uh (laughs) Martha was I mean, she got the script last. Like, we got a couple months to prepare for it and everything. Like, she got it kind of last minute, and she came through, and she was like, uh, uh, she was like, give me the script, boom. What is the, what's the line? Blah, blah, blah. Let's do it. And then she would come in, and she's such a pro. She could get it, like, so quick. Um, so impressive um, to see her work. And for someone like me, I'm, I mean, I'm just getting started in this, this industry, you know, like I'm, I'm like a sponge, you know? So for me, it was like a master class, you know, it was just a master class in watching these people work, man. Uh, Martha uh, and, and, and Kate, obviously I didn't have too many scenes with her, but even Garrett, I mean, Greg, like all these, all these people on set have done it before and to see them do it um, is just such a, such an honor and a blessing dude um, to, yeah. to, to see them work for sure. Yeah, Martha was, um, I was just excited to hear. She would constantly teach us about the game, too, on the side when we would be in between set. You know, she'll tell us about how she's making money in London and in America. She on <laughs> two shows. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was like, she was just talking, but it was it was definitely seeing a seasoned player in the game. It was like working with Kobe, you know what I mean? When she stepped on the, when she stepped on set, it made you want to perform better. You know, like me, I'll do scenes and if I knew she was in it, I would want to perform my best. And then a lot of times she will be there encouraging us to even go in, she'll be in the back like, oh, that's good. That was good, you know? So dude, she was dope, man. Every, and, and my, other than Martha, I think uh, Greg, Garcia yeah. in general was somebody who was great to experience his workflow because this whole thing he had prepared in his mind from from beginning to end. So when we walked in the set, it was already set up. It was already ready mm. to go. It was it was really seeing somebody vision come to life, which a lot of times we come in and we add stuff. But with this, it was like, yo, this is this man's vision and this is what's happening. And yeah, that's dope to hear. Love, love to hear it. Um, now, I believe the first scene that the three of you all all shared together was episode four. Whether you've seen it or not, but you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say there was an interrogation of Rooster with some little bit of torture going on. I would love to know how fun that scene was for you all recording. You talking about the slap? Yeah. <laughs> Brother, let me tell you, my hand, my hand... I never knew you could really hurt yourself from fake slapping somebody. Like I, for like a week, I, my hand was really because the emotion behind it was still there. Yeah. So <laughs> every time I was doing it, you know, we did it a, a few times, but it was like I really felt it. But it was fun to do, you know. What I'm saying <laughs> we had a good time. <laughs> Everything was so sporadic, so it was like a lot. A lot of the times we didn't realize we, we knew what we were doing, but we didn't expect. You know, when you have a vision of how you think it's gonna go, it always was yeah. opposite. But it was all, it was great. It was fun to do. What do you think, Philip? I thought it was fun. I thought it was actually really fun. I, anytime I, I, so Greg did not let me do any stunts or anything like that. We had a, you know, he, he never let me do anything, right? There was a little bike that I'm supposed to ride. He did not let me ride it until the very last shot. I'm like, damn, like I want to do more action shit, you know? So my, it was my one opportunity to do the, the slap like yeah, that. It was so fun. <laughs> I, I love up, you know. 
and, and Claire, for you, kind of standing off to the side and having to hold your composure, what sort of your emotions <laughs> witnessing this laugh? Yeah, the scene is like a real turning point for kind of for all of us because things like escalate to the point where it's like, okay, what now? Because like Wiggles is upset. She's torn between her two guys, you know, and it's getting violent. She doesn't like. You know, but she still wants security and her fun yeah. cup. So, you know. Uh, Claire, I gotta say, you know, um, you know, getting new, getting getting your feet wet in the business. Um, absolutely fell in love with your character. Um, very very unique voice. I gotta say. Um, and have you already started to venture out? And especially as you mentioned about uh, Martha, talk about double downy in in the business. Have you have thought to explore? potentially being on camera, but also voice acting. You really give me a uh, Christian from Bob's Burger vibes in terms of that very distinct voice that has like such a, a wide range. And, and you can even feel the emotion within it. So have you already started to kind of venture about potentially what's next going forward? Um, voiceover is something that I wanted to do for a long, long time. And I just haven't gotten there yet, but I feel like, everything in my life kind of just hopefully flows naturally and I kind of follow what what comes and I've taken classes and done the prep work and uh my voice is here yeah. and I'm here so I feel like after I get more jobs and things like those things will come you know I, I hope because it would be so much fun that's awesome. They they will come, and I also think, uh, especially with uh, the, it, being in the pandemic, things are a little bit easier for voice actors now. You know, people are getting pods sent to them, and you can do your recording in your studio at home, not having to go anywhere, not having to do tape. Everything's digital, so you know, like you said, you know, make as much money as you can, double down if it's possible. So yeah. Now, now, now the three of you all again. <laughs> this 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 series was just insane. Uh, so many labs left and right. Um, I could tell you some of my favorite moments, but I would love to know what were some of you all's favorite scenes overall to film. And since I mentioned mine, I got to say the party bus one was just completely insane. But I would love to know which uh, what you all start with you, James. Uh, your favorite scene to film? Uh, I think it would be the scene where he when Melvin pulls up on the, or everybody at the house is trying to fight <laughs> Rooster. I think that's one of my favorite <laughs> scenes of all time. Just. You know, even us filming that was crazy because <laughs> none of the crew expected me to take my shirt off. So when I when I did it, everybody was like, it was a it was a mixture of gas, gas, like <gasps> and then like <laughs> like laughs, like, oh, okay. So I was like, Oh yeah, this is gonna work. That's what we want. We want shock and laughter. So yeah, I, that was my favorite scene. It was fun. And and everybody was there too. Everybody was in that scene. And it was great. Wasn't that your last scene? Wasn't that your your, your last? Uh, wasn't that your last scene before you rapped? No, no, it wasn't. Oh, what? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. oh shit! Nah. My bad. Yeah, we we all we rapped all of the uh, we was on the set. Remember, all on yeah. the all on the stage. Oh, on the oh, stage. I'm tripping. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite one. Dope. What about you, Phil? Uh, I think uh, in the audition. Actually, I initially auditioned for James's role and James auditioned for my role. And then <laughs> we ended up switching, which I think oh, is yeah. interesting now that we're doing this. But um, I think my favorite scene was the audition scene for Rooster. And it's the the scene with uh, Claire when they first meet and he, he's hand, he's handing her the rose or whatever. And like a flashback, I think. And 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 I'm not just saying this because Claire is here. I, I, I genuinely looked forward to um, Rooster and Wiggle scenes because they were usually a little bit more heartfelt and he was a little less confident in these moments, you know? So uh, anytime I it got to be a little bit more, um, you know, romantic, I think in, in romantic, uh, you know, anytime you get to see the softer side of Rooster, I think were the scenes I looked forward to. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. And Claire. I'm so lame, but it's like every scene that I got to do was like the best scene because I was so excited <laughs> and it was so much fun. Um, I actually was going to say the same scene that James mentioned just because like <laughs> it was so great to have everybody on set at the same time, like in the same scene. That was kind of magical. And we have a cute picture from that day. So it's good memories. Um, but uh, I feel like... 
some of the more hilarious Rooster Wiggles moments, um, they're too much of spoilers, but like those were those were like real treasures to me. <laughs> the bikini bar moments and some of our yeah good stuff in there <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're not gonna talk spoilers but we will direct folks to check this out august 19th on amazon freebie uh for the three of you all it's been a pleasure to talk to you all uh what a journey so many laughs uh so many little tidbits hey yeah drop one of those clues bombs real quick <laughs> until the next time folks i hope you have a good rest of the day and uh again plugging it amazon free free sprung august 19th check it out folks it's free it's free y'all it's free it's free thank you thank you thank you brother